In a very competitive 2013-2014 U.S. Youth Soccer National League girls season, just three teams have punched their ticket to the U.S. Youth Soccer National Championships after the girls wrapped up this week's games Thursday in Orlando. Libertyville Football Club 1974 of Illinois had a chance to move on to the top of the under-15 Red Division with a win against Alliance Academy 99 Black of Michigan on the final day of play in Orlando. Alliance Academy got on the scoreboard first when Bailey Corhorn scored in the 42nd minute, but Emily Blackwell responded for Libertyville just two minutes later to tie the score at 1-1. The game remained level until Sadie Misewich scored a game winner in the 77th minute to help Alliance get the win and eliminate Libertyville's chances at a top two finish in the group. In the under-16 Red Division, first place Tampa Bay United 97 Premier Florida had a chance to extend its lead in the standings but fell 1-0 to Solar Chelsea Elite 98 of North Texas. It didn't take long for Claire Ganser to give Solar the lead as she beat the keeper in the seventh minute to put her side on top. The Texas squad fought off all Tampa Bay scoring chances and held on for the 1-0 shutout victory. Tampa Bay still has a chance at earning a berth to the Nationals, but it will need some help during the games in Las Vegas. The matchup with the most on the line Thursday came in the under-16 blue division, as Top Hat 16 Gold from Georgia and MRM Coyotes from Maryland each had a chance to clinch a second-place finish with a win. The Coyotes controlled the game early as they pressured the Top Hat goal but couldn't break through. The game went back and forth for much of the 80 minutes, with each side pushing for the crucial first goal. The Coyotes had a couple of close calls in the final minutes, but the top hat goalkeeper did well to keep the Maryland side in check. The game ended in a scoreless draw, which leaves the Coyotes in position to earn a second place finish should Legends Football Club 97 of California South drop any points in Las Vegas. The fact that National League is, is so great, we're kind of counting on that for, uh, for March. It's really difficult to win three straight games. Um, and that's what a couple of the teams with legends are certainly going to have to do uh, in March. Uh, if they can do that, hats off to them. It's, it's real tough to win three straight games. I think it's all about who wants it the most and who has the most heart. So I hope that we can get to Nationals and show that. So. Thursday's most exciting contest came in a back-and-forth under-17 Red Division matchup between 97 Louisiana Fire of Louisiana and South Carolina 96 Elite. The game featured three goals in the opening 10 minutes, with Alexandra Thomas and Noel Higginson scoring for the Fire, while Miranda Westlake added a tally for South Carolina. Westlake added three more goals to give South Carolina a 4-2 advantage by the 73rd minute. However, Cassandra Ortega and Thomas each found the back of the net for the Fire in the final 15 minutes, and the game ended in a 4 Four time. NSA Jaguars of Illinois held on for a 2-1 win over Futura Football Club 96-97 Academy Premier of Missouri to gain a much needed three points in the under-17 Blue Division. In the 35th minute, Elisa Kovacis chipped a pass to Lexi Pelfas, who cut inside a defender and finished inside the far post to give NSA a 1-0 lead. Aaron Fitzgerald made it 2-0 when she found the back of the net just after halftime. Marissa Adams pulled Futura within a goal by scoring in the 83rd minute, but NSA held on for the key victory. With half of the division still to play its final three games in Las Vegas, the top two teams won't be determined until league play concludes in March. Futura Academy Forte of Missouri punched its ticket to the national championships thanks to a 3-0 win Thursday against NSA Rockets of Illinois. Nina Stein gave the Missouri side the lead with a 24th minute strike before Kayla Deaver extended the advantage to 2-0 with a goal shortly after halftime. Stein added a second goal with a strike to the far post in the 69th minute as Futura clinched at least a second place finish in the group. PWSI Courage 95 Gold of Virginia finished 2-0-1 in Orlando after defeating Albion Hurricanes 96 of South Texas. 4-1 on Thursday. Marissa Valente opened the scoring for PWSI in the fifth minute, but Donya Doys responded just four minutes later for the Albion Hurricanes football club. PWSI regained the lead in the 23rd minute when Colleen Gawkins found the back of the net. Jennifer Noble and Jessica Leonard each added second-half goals for the Virginia side as it came away with the 4-1 victory. BRYC 95 Elite of Virginia is heading back to the national championships after it clinched a top two finish with a 3-1 victory over Sporting BB Supersport of Kansas. The Virginia side went in front on a Kaylee Real goal in the 15th minute, but Sporting tied the game in the 27th minute thanks to an Anna Romano tally. 
BRYC wasted little time in regaining the lead as Catherine Bukowski beat the keeper just two minutes later to give the 2012 National Champions a 2-1 halftime lead. BRYC controlled possession for the duration of the second half and added an insurance goal when Carlin Baldwin flicked a header over the goalkeeper to cap the 3-1 win. I mean, we play against all the top teams in the country, so by playing against the top competition, it just elevates your level even more, so you train all year for this. And that's the beauty of this league. Four years of matches that really mean something against great competition.